This evening, we come together to pay tribute to a fallen hero who devoted his life to defending freedom and who made the supreme sacrifice to save others on September 11th, 2001, Colonel Richard Rescorla. Richard was uh, a great gentleman. He's looking down proudly on this wonderful family. And congratulations. It's a big, uh, this is a big evening. And uh, it's great to have you at the White House because there's no place like it. Whoa. Bullhorn in hand, Rick told everyone to ignore the PA system that was instructing them to remain at their desks. He directed them to start marching down the stairs, two by two, get out and start marching. Just do it. And they had practiced before because of him. They had practiced before. Thank you. Thank you, fellas. Thank you. Rick ran up and down over 20 floors, telling employees to keep moving, keep moving, get out, keep moving. Many recall him saying, today is a day to be proud to be an American. Tomorrow, the world will be looking at you. At 9.03 a.m., a plane crashed into now the South Tower. As terrified victims ran to escape the suffocating fumes, Rick remained calm and resolute in his mission. When others told Rick to run to safety, he responded, as soon as I've got everybody in this building out. You have endured, but today we express the gratitude of Rick's entire life paints a beautiful picture of selfless service and his legacy endures. Monuments and gardens have been built in his honor. A passenger train in England has been named after him, and they just gave me the most beautiful model of that train, and it'll be in the Oval Office. And poems and books, and even an opera, have been written to memorialize his story. Today is a day to honor a proud American. 18 years is a long time, and I thank our President for honoring Rick with the Presidential Citizen Medal. I had asked myself, and why now? Because this was to be. It's all about the journey, which has revealed so much more. Of all the accolades, all the tributes, both here and in the United Kingdom, 60 or more over the years, and each one so unique. And all of the people along the journey who have touched my life, each is so memorable because I was able to learn more about this incredible man and in death than in the short time we had together on earth. He was some singing Cornish songs and sometimes even whispering in their ears, get the hell out. Just on that fatal day, September 11th, 2001, Rick was seen firstly herding the people out of the building, and then he and his three men followed the firemen going further up into the South Tower. There's even a recorder of them talking to one another. Leave no man behind was the core of the Seventh Cavalry, and I know Rick was thinking about his men in those final moments. The days after 9-11, so many people called me and asked me, did Rick make it out? or to tell me what Rick was saying to them as he was bringing them out of the building to safety.